Hi guys, it's May here. Welcome to my channel and again, welcome to Cooking 101. This afternoon, we're going to make igado. Igado is a very famous uh, Ilocano dish from back home Philippines. It's made from pork innards such as liver and heart. But this afternoon, I couldn't find any heart. So I'm going to replace the pork's uh, heart or pig's heart with the pork kidney. There's a lot of version of this dish and this is my own version and hopefully uh, my Ilocano friends that are watching on this channel are not going to get mad because every time I make Filipino dish, I always break the rules. This afternoon, I'm going to break the rules again. So for my Igado uh, recipe, I have here pork liver cut in thin slices, pork kidney, pig ears. This pig ears, you guys, I boiled it for almost like 45 minutes. I just want to make it uh, sure that it's soft because it's nice to eat it when it's soft. Um, instead of pork casim, I'm using the um, pork bacon for this one. I have here uh, potatoes and I just slice it kind of like in a french fries slice and I use this kind of potatoes for my igado. Actually guys this one bowl of potatoes is just one a little bit bigger than this. For the rest of our ingredients I'm using one head of garlic chopped, two Roma tomatoes, a couple of bay leaves, three pieces of Thai chili, one big onions, white onions, ginger, I have here the red and yellow bell pepper, pineapple, and I'm also going to be using two magic syrup seasoning mix all-in-one granules and one pack or 10 grams of annatto powder. Friends, this is the uh, the juice from the uh, pineapple in the can so i'm going to use this one to marinate my meat i have here some soy sauce shaoxing cooking wine and last i have here the white wine uh, vinegar and also we're going to use uh, salt and pepper on this dish the first thing we're going to do is we're going to marinate all our meat so we're going to put this one in a bowl and I'm going to show you guys how to marinate it okay friends the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put all of our meat on this one whole big pot here so we're going to do the kidney the liver the pork ears and our pork side bacon okay just gonna mix them up okay first I'm going to put all of this pineapple juice. This is two third cup of pineapple juice. Half, half a cup of soy sauce. Mmm, smells so good, you guys. One third cup of the Shaoxing cooking wine. Mix. We're going to season this one with salt and pepper. Mm, smells so good you guys mm. 
pepper for peppers you guys you can you can um, add as much pepper as you want A little less half a teaspoon of salt give it a mix we don't want to season this meat heavily you guys because we're we're still going to cook this right so we just want to um, marinate this one so that it will add a good flavor so now we're going to put this in the fridge we're going to let this one sit in the fridge for half an hour before we cook them okay friends let's start cooking i put five tablespoons of cooking oil and i think our oil is hot enough so let's start with the garlic next the onions ginger tomatoes now we're going to saute all of the meat that we marinated a while ago mm. okay let's give this one a good mix mm -hmm. We're going to let this simmer for 15 minutes. Oh, before anything else, let's put our bay leaves. Sorry, I forgot about that. Okay, let's cover it. And we're going to check that one after 15 minutes. Okay, friends, after 15 minutes, let's check our meat. Hmm, guys, it smells so good. It smells so good, you guys. Let's give it a good mix. Okay, let's cover it again for another 15 minutes. Okay, friends, this time I let it uh, simmer for like 20 minutes. Um, yeah, longer, a little bit longer. So anyhow, let's go check our meat one more time. Oh, look at that, you guys. Mmm, smells so good, you guys. So now we're going to add our remaining ingredients. So we're going to put our red bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, our pineapple, Thai chili. And let's give this one a good mix. Mm. 
and also we're going to add our potatoes for those of you who notice that um, I soak my potatoes in water the reason for that is because I don't want my potatoes to turn black so that's that's the reason why I soak my potatoes in water Mm, it smells so good, you guys. Now we're going to give this one a good mix. Okay. And last but not the least, we're going to add our anato powder or we call it in in my language and i think it's the same in spanish we call it achuete so this achuete or this anato powder i just diluted this one in a lukewarm water we're going to give it again a good mix Okay, and we're going to let this one simmer again for another 10 minutes. There you go. Okay, friends, after 20 minutes, let's season our igado, okay? Oh, look at that, you guys. It's so beautiful. Okay, we're going to put two packages of the magic syrup again guys you can you can get all of these ingredients that i use for this cooking in any asian supermarket two tablespoons of the white wine vinegar okay And a little bit of salt probably half a teaspoon there you go let's give it a good mix Okay guys, this is our finished product. This is our igado, one of the very famous dish from back home, mostly from the Ilocanos. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't subscribed on my YouTube channel yet, please don't forget to subscribe to all of my new subscribers and most especially the ones who who's been with me from the day I started YouTube. Thank you guys very much for everything. Anyhow, um, yes, I hope you guys like this recipe. Have a blessed night, everyone, and may the good Lord bless us all.